Hi, Helen here. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about the different ways of using Hobonichi Cousin, the A5 size. I realized that I have been going through years, I think the last three years, trying to figure out Hobonichi Cousin. And if you're in the same place as me, I will share with you some of the different ways of using it, both functionally and for memory keepsake. I started off the year thinking that it is going to be my memory keep book because I love flipping through this at the end of the year. This is an amazing book to do that. The size of it, A5, this is your B6, this is your Hobonichi Weeks. And so the size of it is so good that you can clip in a lot of things in here. So instead of for me doing all these photo books and such, I am using Hobonichi Cousin for that. And that was the intention in the beginning of the year. So I have here this thing that I created and it's just an envelope that my Hobonichi Weeks came in. Throughout the year, whatever I cannot squeeze into the pages, it goes in here. So I've got that and then this, I'm keeping it clean. I ripped out this page obviously because I was using it for something else in a different book. You could use this as a tracker, you could use it uh, for different years, I used it for multiple things, but you can use this yearly at a glance really to track your habits. This is an amazing place to do that. And then this is also an amazing place where I kind of started doing it like when I order my son's glasses because I have four children. They have different glasses and contacts that I order throughout the year upon their eye exams. You could also use it for a table of contents. So in your daily pages, if you're writing something on June 17th, you would come to June 17 and write what that is about. Now let's go into the monthly. So in the beginning, like I said, it was meant to be a memory book. So these are all the things that happen on different days of the, the month of December of 2022. And this also happened. And so I kind of clipped this in. I can keep it all in one book, right? So all the photos, anything that I have to remember December is in there. You can also use it as a functional calendar. If you have a cleaning schedule, if you're reading something, your goals for the month, can go here. You can track the whole month here for something different than what you're tracking probably over here because you don't want to do two different places in one planner. Um, and then you can put all your schedules and appointments, timely sensitive things here. And your due dates also can go here. You can use it with stickers and without stickers. So these are just very minimal stickers and then no stickers. So this is the different look. So it really depends on how you feel and what makes you feel um, gravitated towards this notebook, I think is the question that you should ask yourself. But I will tell you, I do love and enjoy seeing these photos um, throughout the year to just give me a little piece of like what happened during that month. Now let's go to the weeklies. Weeklies are fun. I think a lot of people favor weeklies of Hobonichi Cousin. On to the left, you can use this to track your work hours. You could track your sleep, your workouts. A lot of trackers can go here. And then also like the goals for the week. What are some of the big goals that you wanna accomplish this week? So you can do that. Um, you can use this as a memory book, like I said, and if, if that's the case, like what happened? So you would actually do this after the fact of what happened. I was tracking my work schedule here, some of the goals for the week, big goals that, I, that would make me so happy at the end of the week if I accomplished them. And also these are the hours, the highlighted are the hours that I was working. And so that's therefore tracked here so that I could look at a glance. Starting from this week, there's a change. Half of it was kind of functional memory keep and then half of it was like, you know what, if I'm going to do memory keep anyways, let's get away from all the stuff because it's kind of redundant, right? Because you have your functional planner to do that and if you don't have the time, like do you really have the time to do this? Well, this was kind of like my journaling, but I decided that's no longer the deal and so you can also really do this in, in a way of clipping in things, like using it as a scrapbook. So that was fun. So that's what I did on this week. So you can use this as a scrapbook. Each week you can go back on the weekend or something like this or the following week and just kind of clip in all the photos 
uh, food, things that you were that was on your mind, um, places that you've been to. Now let's go into functional planning. So this is how I would use Koobanichi Cousin if I was using it as a functional planner. And I think it's an amazing size for a functional planner. Uh, just because I love tracking my hours of not just work, but really of all the available times I have for income generating tasks. So that to me is important, especially because I wear so many hats throughout the day, both personally and at work, so that I can really take a look at my schedule at a glance and see, okay, what available times do I have? Who can I delegate what to? Because I just cannot squeeze that into that week and it's still due. So this is another way of using it. So I was jotting down what I was reading, listening, watching, uh, what I bought and my favorite something and then the workouts. And all the drop-offs uh, are in blue. So my personal kids schedules and such are in blue. And then I have all the different meetings and such in different colors. So that's another way of using it. This is this week and I needed a functional place and I loved how I was doing, what was I focused on? What was I reading? What was I watching? What did I buy? What were my favorites? Now let's go into the dailies. I was doing a lot of journaling in here, just inner thoughts, right? And then these, from this day, I was using it as a functional. So you can use it in a functional way, journaling a little bit here. And then I was adding all the personal to do's and all my schedules on that on the left side, because all the hours are there. Things that I just did throughout the day where it was recorded on that side. I had errands to run under the schedules. And then I had work tasks and personal tasks. And I, I just really needed one place to go to because I, I, I think I was just hopping around and just really busy. And so I use this as a functional planner in this moment, in this week. You can even jot down how much you spent on that day uh, if you wanna keep a record of that. And all the schedules again, and then going through and journaling a little bit in the morning, kind of like an affirmation, like today is going to be a great day. Let's get this day started. Let's, let's move, get real productive and get all I wish done. <laughs> I love that. And then um, all the stuff that I had to do on Sunday and then work. Because typically on Sundays, I really need that boost of motivation just because Sundays, I just like to chill because it's like my chill day, right? So uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you can record all that on the bottom here. Again, on Monday, time sensitive things. Today, this is going to be a busy week. Let's make the most of it by staying focused on the projects and getting each task done. <laughs> I love that. And so personal work, separating it that way. And then you can journal a little bit down here on the bottom. So th these are great functional ways of using it. And I think lately I've just been really journaling a lot in here just because I found kind of my functional method in my B6. I was learning about 12 week here. And so this is a call for like if I wanted to record that and use this these yearly at a glance pages in the front here as my table of contents, I would write 12 week year because that's what I learned on that day on February 20th. And so I would just go here and write 12 week year so that if I'm like, hey, what did it, where was that? Where did I write that page? It would be here. And then more functional way. I love just separating home and work. Um, this is the idea of this year because I'm working from home so many things to do and I just need to separate my life a little bit so that I wear different hats on different days and I'm not mixing things. I wrote about the glory part two. Have you watched that yet? Leave a comment down below. These are all the many ways you can use Hobonichi Cousin A5 size and I hope you grab some ideas from me today. Um, let me know down below if you're using a Hobonichi Cousin A5 or you're considering using it going forward. My answer to Hobonichi Cousin A5 size is really just letting it go. My answer is just letting it go. Some days or some weeks you're going to want to use it as a functional planner. Some weeks you're going to use it as a journal. And that's okay because you know what? Years from now, if you go back to your Hobonichi cousin or any of your notebooks and you go back and, and go over these, you're going to want to see some photos. You're going to, you know, for me personally, I love seeing the photos. I love seeing my hard work 
you know, in some of these functional pages. And I love seeing, you know, um, my thoughts in the moment, like these journaling pages back here. I love all of it. So just peace out, let it go, and, um, and just enjoy the journal. That's what it is all about. I mean, enjoy the notebook rather for whatever it can be for you. And that's my answer <laughs> with Omanuchi Cousin. I hope this helped. Until next time, bye. Thank you.